Welcome to our brand new episode, Airsoft High Low, where we take two guns of the same platform and we build it out, one with a high budget and one with a low budget. Different airsoft guns are designed to do different things. Who would have thought? But with the power of upgrades, we can maximize each gun's potential, pushing them far beyond what their out-of-the-box capabilities were. Or in other words, you can have more fun. Building upon what we learned from our series called How to Tech, let's see how we can supercharge what we have. Now we have a wide variety of parts, both external and internal, designed to allow you to get the most out of your airsoft experience. And we want to give you the choice to either go with a high budget build or something more budget friendly. And to add a little bit of challenge to this, with each gun, there's going to be specific requirements that we want to put in there to make it a little bit more challenging and fun for you to watch. So what are we going to start off with? Well, you know them, you love them, the High Kappa. The High Kappa pistol has been a mainstay of the airsoft community for many years, and it's probably one of the most, if not the most, popular airsoft gun out there right now. The keys to a great High Kappa is a snappy trigger response, fast cycling, consistency, and of course, accuracy. So for our challenge, give us two examples of high cap pistol builds, one built on a low budget and one with a higher budget, but you're not allowed to exceed 300 US dollars. All right, high cap fans. So let's take a look at what we got, what we're dealing with here on the table here. And uh, keep in mind that your budget does not include the gun itself and that some high capas can easily go over a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars if you get really fancy with them. But let's start with the low kappa, as we say. Uh, more bare essentials performance upgrade for your 5.1 basic high kappa. So bare essentials, basically what you need to be a little more competitive out there with your high kappa. We're starting with our 6.03 tight bore stainless steel inner barrel our nine ball bucking and of course our nine ball gasket for the magazine for that perfect air seal these three main upgrades all together are going to cost you less than a hundred dollars and will get you as far as most other upgraded high kappas all right moving on to our high kappa or our more expensive budget shiny boy here in little more Gucci with all these heat radiation parts very popular but along with that we have some stainless steel hammers our custom trigger custom mag patch for even more easy reloads our mag well for easier reloads and then we have our threaded outer barrel for those people who want to use tracer units and other muzzle devices also more and probably most importantly our little short stroke spring set so that you can get snappier response and then also going with our tight bore barrel and bucking and then lastly the gasket for that perfect air seal here we are with our budget friendly high kappa nothing wrong with that you get some great performance on a budget so let's put them together with our original outer barrel and the inner barrel set And just like that. All right, let's put our high kappa together real quick. Right into the slide. So, how is uh, building those two guns? Oh yeah, fun stuff. Putting fun your stuff. sensei powers to mm -hmm. good use. That's really where he works. <laughs> Over there. Yeah, so if any of you guys communicate with him, that's really what his desk looks like. Over there, yeah. So, is it safe to say that you've now built out both a high and low budget high kappa? Yeah, so, you know, we went really bare bones with the low kappa. Yes! Oh. Yeah. I was about to ask, it would be completely okay if I called it the low kappa? Yeah, the low kappa. Thank you. You called it that, mm. not me. The Excellent. Low so what are we calling the other one? So uh, since it's already a high kappa base, we'll just go with the, the high, high kappa. And maybe one day we'll do a higher kappa. But for now, we're going to keep it basic. The high. Yes. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Knee slaps. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to do two tests today. We're going to do an FPS test yep. as well as a basic shooting test. Mm -hmm. Now, I kind of know what a base high kappa shoots like. Shot several yes. in my lifetime. Uh, so I'm going to shoot it and I'm going to give you guys my feedback. And uh, let's see how Ryan Sensei did. So two tests. First one that we're going to do is we're going to shoot it. Now, I know I qualified it by saying it's got to be like accurate and consistent. I think what we're going to see here with these upgrades is that little bit of consistency. After shooting both guns, the second test is going to be FPS. Let's go. This is green gas, by the way. All right. Okay. You know, when you shoot a stock high kappa, it's not a bad gun. It's already quite a good gun out of the box. But when you start to run it a little bit, you can kind of feel a little bit of a noticeable drop off, maybe halfway through your magazine, towards the end of your magazine. This one, very consistent, just consistently firing one round after another till it's completely out. Not bad. Now let's talk about high kappa or high high kappa. Now to high high kappa, it already kind of feels a little bit different in hand. Green gas, let's go. Oh, I can. Hmm. Yep, it feels different, all right. She's a shooter. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to get used to the trigger as well. It's a little bit shorter than the stock one. Very responsive. One thing I have to say though, if you're in it for the fun, just pure fun, the short show kit that we have in this thing, spicy. I'm using 0.2 gram BBs and green gas. Wow, where have I said that before? Once again, 0.2 gram BBs and green gas for low kappa. Okay, so the one thing I wasn't prepared and I kind of don't know why it blanked on me, the short stroke kit for the high, high kappa. Yep. Doesn't lock the slide all the way back. No, it does not. Yes, in order to get that faster cycle, we got to make that uh, spring as short as possible so that it, you know, it just brings it back just enough to load a BB, mm -hmm. but it doesn't go all the way back on empty. So you right. got to keep that in mind. So you guys got to keep that in mind too, but I'm going to tell you it was very spicy. Yeah, snappy. It was very snappy. So I think like for all the HPA boys out there, yes. but that would be like high, 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 high kappa. Yeah, so let's say uh, next time, you guys let us know down in the comments, because this, remember, this is just our basic first video on comparing two different budgets, but if you want to go higher budget, go different type of gun, go Glock, go AG, gas blue black rifle, let us know down in the comments. We'll uh, change the budgets up a little bit. If you guys want to see other types of performance as well, just let us know. Just keep in mind, we're going basic, you know, you know, high, high kappa, maybe medium high kappa, and then low kappa for those low, people. Low, low kappa. Yeah, just so you can get an idea of how to start building and teching on your guns. But if you want to go farther, let us know. Yep. So thank you for watching your first episode of Airsoft High Lows. We're going to come up with something special for you guys next week with different challenges. Well, I don't want to spoil it, but yeah. you're just going to have to watch what's coming out next. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, do all your stuff down there. Mess around in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned.